the most difficult part, I think, is to present the complexity and the sophistication of humanity, right? So mm, probably it's easy if the boundary is clear, white and uh, dark, or right or wrong. Mm -hmm. It's easy to present that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, when the boundary becomes blur, mm -hmm. it's so difficult to present the sophistication of humanity. So mm -hmm. how do you deal with the humanity things? Well, I mean, it's not a totally, you know, dark. Black or, and white, yeah. Well, nothing is black, black and white. And white. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but the truth is, like, it's just like life. It's a metaphor for life. Like, every day you're alive, you're closer, one day closer to death. We don't like to think about it that way, but it's, ex it's those extremes. So for every good thing that's happening, there's something bad on the other side of what just happened. Just depends on whose stamp, whose, whose uh, perception you're looking at it through, right? So yeah. if you take the main character of Star Wars, like we were talking about that earlier, mm -hmm. it's like, well, from Luke Skywalker's perspective, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is what I need to do to fight the, the evils that be. But from Darth Vader's perspective, we made the same movie, the exact same movie from Darth Vader's point of view. Mm -hmm. Now you're, you're, Darth Vader's the good guy and Luke's the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so understanding it from that perspective kind of helps form what those, uh, those, those pressure points are, right. that tension. And so I always tell my writers, like even when we're writing for different series and shows, and, and writers tend to love their characters so much they don't want to hurt them or make them look bad. But at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, even though that's true, not everyone makes perfect decisions all the time. And that's not humanity. What's humanity is showing the flaws of humans the other, and how the we other, Something that's interesting about animation, and we, we encounter it all the time, is that the main characters of, of animated movies often go through, um, they, they go through this trial and error period where we're trying to figure out who they are, and, and you know, production people, get, people, people on the film get uncomfortable with the main character having a flaw. And the best stories are characters that have flaws. The best stories are characters that have something to overcome. And it's so often that our main character winds up not being boring, but just not being as rich as we in story would be trying to, you know, let's give them some flaws and stuff. And they go, well, that's unlikable. That's scary. That's this. That's that. Mm -hmm. But then everybody's surprised when the sidekick characters that nobody's paying attention to become a big deal. For example, uh, in, in the Shrek movies, mm -hmm. Puss in Boots oh, was yeah. the fan oh, yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because he because he wasn't going through that thing of you can't make him unlikable. But I mean, like the first, mm. he's he's a he's a smarmy guy. Like right. the first time you meet him, he's he's yeah. like, for you, baby, I could be. He's talking to <laughs> right. Fiona, Just, and you could never do that with the main character if that was the way we developed that movie. Right. Or, or the minions, oh, yeah, or the yeah. penguins of oh, Madagascar. Penguins from, uh, yeah. Like yeah. everybody yeah. loved yeah. the penguins. The movie's okay, but those penguins because they were just allowed to be funny. Yeah. Those guys were karate chopping people and stealing their tanker ships. Yes, yes, <laughs> raw, and, but, but real. And, and everybody, <laughs> and myself included, we're sitting there going, I want to watch those guys. Right, mm -hmm. correct. You know? And then they go, well, we need to make a movie about those guys. Absolutely. And then they make that movie, and what do they do? They go, they, 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 make, they dumb them down just a little bit. Right, yeah, right, so they, 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 they right. That. And I, that it, was, it, because now they're the main character, and now they're, in the, now they're in the, yeah. under the microscope, and they, and they get... But they that's humanity. Yeah, yes. right? that's yes. the that's the truth of, of who yeah. we are. Like we, we we have a Chinese film which is very very popular called Neja Zhi Mo Tong Xiang Shi. You know that the child oh. of Neja named Neja entered to the world. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a character. It, he's a bad guy uh. called Shen Gong Bao. Uh, he wasn't born to be bad. It's because people have discrimination on him. Right. Look down him, so he becomes bad. He has a reason to be bad. He just fight against the discrimination. So we like him. Right. Mm -hmm. He's bad. Yeah, and he we killed like people. Him. Yeah. But we like him. Yeah. 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 Correct. Because right. the whole life for him is a fight against the discrimination. Yeah. Right. Correct. So you stand for you like you stand by him because you agree with what you, he's, well, he's it, it, well, not necessarily. <laughs> oh, that. Okay. It's not even. A, it's not. A, it's not a moral. Because uh, uh, your job for that mm. person isn't a moral or ethical question. Although morals and ethics will be addressed because there are consequences. Oh, okay. And so these are the things that create the story's movement, the rhythm. Like once you've done something, there's a consequence, an equal or opposite reaction mm. to what you did. Yeah. And that moves the story forward. 
without it, then story's not moving. Stuff's yeah. just happening. Mm. Like, and you don't want just stuff happening. Yeah. You want to have something moving towards some greater end. And then you build that up through how big these things can become over time. Mm. But to the point, it's almost like uh, from a smaller scale on that personal level, there's something that this character doesn't understand about their life mm. and can't see that flaw. The key for us as, as writers and directors is to highlight to the audience that you can see what that character may need but they don't. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know. And that the beauty and the magic of that is watching them and hoping that they'll finally get it. And that's where the trial and error starts to make sense. So once you hit that period of the greatest tension and the eureka happens, we were waiting for that. Yeah. It's no wonder we want Batman to stop Joker. Yeah, yeah. It's no wonder you want Indiana Jones to find the relic and stop the bad guys, of course. But there must be something he's going through that's preventing him from achieving yeah. that. And sometimes it's himself, just his simple way of seeing things, because he can't figure something out. Yeah. And that's the joy of watching. I was thinking like one other thing for humanity, like trying to establish humanity in stories is, it doesn't always have to be, but like sometimes even the stories that we kind of mentioned are kind of fantasy stories or grand stories. And so we, but it's trying to find things that are identifiable with, with the audience, like what like problems and things that, that we can identify with and small moments or things like that that we're like, oh yeah, that's that, that problem. I know, I know that problem, <laughs> like, that happened to me. That's my right, life. Right, yeah, right. That, that's my life. And, yeah. and I think that is like a major thing for find, establishing that humanity, humanity moment and stories. Can, can the people who are watching this, no matter what it is, it's, it's a panda, it's a dragon, you know, or it's like, Indiana Jones. Oh yeah, yeah. But but can we identify with their issues and with those problems and that's things right. that's happening? Yeah. From the very beginning, characters go first or the stories go first. Uh, character is story. But there's so I think you're like you know it's interesting because there's so they say that there's two ways of writer or two types of writers. One is plot driven. Right. One is character. Correct. Right? Correct. And neither one is incorrect, but you definitely both you have to address both and. So there's, so I think like, to your question, it just depends on the writer. Do you write the character first? Do you write your story first? Yeah, some people, yeah. some writers actually write well. I can't write this way, but they write through plot first. Yeah. And they, they have a theme that they want to really do. Mm -hmm. And they can sh structure it mm -hmm. out. Yeah. And then they'll plot in characters. Yeah, and, yeah, and, in characters. But I, I really don't, I can't think that way. Mm -hmm. Typically, like the way I would approach a, a, a story is, whether it has a structure or not. Uh, at Pixar, they always force, or not force us, but <laughs> they, they drill into us that character is structure and structure is character. Mm -hmm. So if you have a character and you really go through what their life is like, mm -hmm. who they really are and what they need, then you'll understand the things that they desire and what they want may not line up. Mm -hmm. And from there, you can create a structure around their, them as the sun. Mm -hmm. And all the other characters are like planets. Mm -hmm revolving around them and each planet will give them a different part of who they are so they should be enhancing mm -hmm. what that character is about and it just makes that character that much more full mm -hmm. so usually when in, in those sto that style of storytelling you're forced to create a structure you, you're almost locking yourself in once that character is established mm -hmm. well, does that character really react like that in this scenario and everyone in the room goes no nah. <laughs> like, <laughs> wasn't it isn't it true like how many times have we all heard growing up an actor in an interview going, my character wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 at, and at the time, I used to think that sounds very pretentious. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, like, what but that? what you're saying is, is dead on. It's, it's right that, that when you get into the moment and, and you really dig down and you know the character, now I understand what they mean when they say that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That, yeah, that totally. Poe wouldn't do that. Right. <laughs> and that's why the joke you works with him and it wouldn't it work wouldn't with that work person with because it. I know yeah, who yeah, he yeah. is. That's right. Yeah. And if you understand your character, you can put them in any situation. That's right. Correct. And you'll, you'll know how they re will respond. Absolutely. Yeah, how the situation The audience feels like they know it, and they didn't even write it. <laughs> they go, yeah, that's who he is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they so they're, they're anticipating that. Yeah. And then it's our job to just get out of the way of that and make sure that that tension stays there right. with the drama. On, on, how to, on How to Train Your Dragon, I, I boarded the scene, the scene in the movie where Hiccup finds the dragon in the forest tied up. And that was, uh, 
in a part of the, when we were making that movie, we were making it very quickly. We were almost out of time. We had just a little over a year and we scrapped the movie and started over. Mm. And we had 14 months to, to do that movie. And um, so when that scene was being developed, we're, we were kind of working in a, in a it was fun, it was exciting because we were just sitting around a table going, what if we did this, what if we did this? And we realized that we needed the scene where Hiccup finds Toothless in the forest and the director, one of the directors turned to me and said, why don't you go start working on that? And very, very quickly, I, I came up with that idea of how he finds him and I started drawing it and he comes through the forest and when he happens upon him, there was no script because we were writing the movie, we were laying the track in front of the train as we were going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so as I'm just drawing the scene out, I'm imagining what would I do in that situation? And so that, that bit where he goes up to it and he's standing there with his knife and he's like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna kill you, dragon. <laughs> like, I'm gonna cut out your heart and take it to my father. That whole thing was like, I just thought, well, that's what I would do. Like try and psych myself out to kill this thing and I'm, you know, raise it and then I can't. So that, that's, that's part of the process. And that's when it's really fun, you know, when you, can, when you can get into that Beautiful scene, Space. by the way, too. Yeah, I, that's one of the most iconic moments, I think, in that, that series, <laughs> like, is that moment. I feel like, I feel like I'm beating, like, they ganging up on me, because I'm very much a, a plot writer first. No, <laughs> I write plot no, first, that's... and then like, I have the, the overall concept and you idea. You have an analytical mind, yeah. and your structures are always so dead on. <laughs> and then, then I, oh, let me add this character. That's <laughs> right. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, what, and that can work as well. Yeah, yeah. So, you can do it both ways. Yeah, because I write novels as well. Hmm. So for, uh, in terms of my methods, first of all, I create the characters. Because I believe one thing in China is It means uh, if there, is, there are human beings, there are stories. Uh, true. Yeah. Very so true. I, I, I create characters from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. If they're human beings, they're stories. Yeah, very that's true. like a Pixar, <laughs> my, 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 the late, great Joe Ramp. I remember we were on a scene uh, in cars and we had, we had to be done by like six o'clock that day and I was like, oh, no way. I thought I was gonna get fired. Like, no way we're gonna be finished by that time. There's too much stuff to do. And it was on uh, the, the head of stories sequence, uh, Joe Ramp, and I was at lunch and he said, hey, you're gonna come and meet this guy. Um, he's gonna be uh, coming to Pixar and tell a story. And I was like, Joe, <laughs> I have a sequence to do. There's no way I should even be thinking about lunch. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, man, you should come and watch this guy. He's going to be teaching story, and, and he's in the auditorium, and I really want you to see it. I'm like, Joe, dude, it's your scene. We have got to finish yeah. this, like, literally by five. And then he put his hand on my shoulder and said, but he's from Africa. And I was like, man, the white dude's telling the black dude, go to see the African guy talk. So I was like, all right, all right, God. Like, so we go down to the theater, the Pixar theater, and there's this guy teaching story through West African drums. Mm -hmm. And he's just banging on these Congos and we're like, whoa, what, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And then he said, you know, in Africa, the word animator to us means storyteller. Mm -hmm. And we all have storytellers in our village. Yeah, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. And then he says like, but if you replace the word story with person and think about this, mm -hmm. No one story is better than another story. Yeah, yeah. It's how a story is told is how it will be received. Ba, 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 ba. And I was like, whoa, this is crazy. And I was like, man, <laughs> dude, I was getting all this I was like, wow, this is awesome. And then uh, right when we came out of there, he said, so what'd you think? And I was like, man, that was mind blowing. You said, you didn't even want to go. And I was like, man, we still have to finish work. But you know what's funny? I finished by 4.30. Wow, so I good. blew through that assignment. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, psh. We got this, <laughs> no problem. Sometimes it's just that weird thing of us getting in our own way in that sense. Yeah. But understanding character and character is story, is, is, is life. Mm -hmm. I really do think that. When you write your characters, Tina, like, what's like, I don't know. Love stories. A love stories? Yes, yes, it's love about stories. romance. Mm -hmm. The essence of life. I don't know anything about romance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> don't ask me about that. <laughs> no, that's interesting. So, but are there like some issues that you, like when you're first plotting or deciding what your character is going to do in this romantic world? Like what, what kind of, what, how do you go about that? So first of all, you need to have your personality, man and woman. They kind of like a con contrast personalities, they can't be the same. They can't share the same personality, first of all, right? Because if they are the same persons, they can't have the 
um, how to say communication or uh, so problem together or these kind of things. Yes. So uh, first of all, the uh, the main characters need to be kind of opposite. Mm. They can't be the same. Agree with me? Of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. That's I think that makes perfect spot sense. On, actually, yeah. And then stories just come out naturally. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For that example, if a man is outgoing, yeah. the girl can be quiet, right? Oh, yeah. She cannot be outgoing as well. Right, right, right. of course. Yeah, yeah you want contrasting characters are always great. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I love that I love the uh the, the in finding Nemo, I, I thought it was so brilliant, the Dory character relative to Father Fish. Yeah, you, know, you had this guy who just lost his children mm. and and he's the type of character, his flaw is that he can't let go. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what literally gets Nemo away from him, right? And as he needs to find his son, from his from him his actions force Nemo to leave him. Mm -hmm. Ironically, yeah, gets right, stolen. Yeah. And and so I, I love this beautiful yeah. metaphor of like I can't let go is why I'm overprotective. Like, no Nemo, you can't go there. No, you can't touch yeah, this. Yeah, no, you yeah. can't do that. Because he's like, man, he's driving me he's, crazy. He's just watch the drama. Yeah. Right? Now he's not letting go. He can't let go. And then who does he meet? Dory. Yeah, Dory. Who forgets everything. Who's a character who forgets everything, yeah. can't hold on to nothing. Like, so it's like the beautiful relationship of yeah. just them together helps you see Marlon. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I always feel like it's like, you know, contrast is how we see. It yeah. literally is how we see. So to yeah. have those contrasting yeah. characters helps you see the characters. That's, contrast is the language of art, right? It's beautiful. Val value. Yeah. Value, right. Black, white. So that's how you <laughs> yeah. perceive everything. Yeah. I really like the relationship between Tiger and Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the tiger is a bit elegant and uh, proud of herself, you know, and uh, she is kind of uh, quiet. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like to talk because she's really proud of herself. Mm -hmm. But Paul is outgoing and mm -hmm. she's, he, he's cute, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, they he's like actually have. He's just, he's just <laughs> just eat, eat, eat. <laughs> every day, right? Mm -hmm. So th their relationship is. I think it attracts the audience a lot. Absolutely, that contrast. Yeah, well, it's like we're talking about. They're just they're just opposites. Yeah. He's, and and the best part about that relationship is that she's he wants he wants so desperately to be around her, and she so desperately doesn't want him to be around <laughs> her. Get rid of him. <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah. Funny. The best part about it is that as mean as she is to him, he's mm -hmm. a fan. Oh yeah. Total like fanboy. He, he just loves her. Right. Like he's. <laughs> Because he's like, she's he's like, like no that, matter how like mean you are to me, I just think you're the coolest person that's ever. So which awesome. would, which if you're the person, like I really hate you, and you're making it worse. Like, right? Yeah. Doubling because down. you're nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're annoying, nice. but you're nice. Yeah, it's and, like and I can't, they can't get rid you. of you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> you hate them. Uh, yeah. That's the best part of the relationship. That's love. And finally, uh, they they canceled the misunderstanding because of Paul did everything to the humans, everything to save the world, mm -hmm. and uh, Tiger likes him at the end, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they come to realize, okay, you can stay. Right. It's painful. <laughs> right, right, right. But the way you said it says, like, <laughs> this is okay, fine, yeah. fine. It's, it's crazy energy, but at least you save people. <laughs> yeah, you said like, the yeah. world okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you bump, he's you being misjudged it. in that, in that well, right? Like, yeah. like they, they look at him and they just completely say, nah, he, he can't yeah, do he it. Can't be here, this guy can't be a hero. Yeah. And he proves that he can. Yeah, she, you know? at the beginning, she said that very directly. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Refusing I mean, and she's right. There's some there's some truth to what she's yeah, saying. Yeah, it's yeah. not like she's just mean for no reason. She's being honest. But it's also interesting that the villain and Tigress share almost identical ideology so. with that regard. Like the villain, even at the very end of the movie, he's like, "But you're just a big, fat, stupid right. panda. Like, right. so how are you like, here? How is that yeah, even yeah. a thing?" And then and then it just becomes that linchpin. That that I'm not a panda. I'm the panda. Right. Like, exactly. That's exactly. What you're like, that was <laughs> exactly. magic. Exactly. That was magic, and that, again, that's just when I, I don't. I don't think that was written early on. That was something that we it came you, up you stumble upon when you're it, when you're working the on the story, and you get to that moment, and when somebody I don't remember who said it, but when that came up in the room, I'm sure everybody went, "Oh, yeah, that's yeah. now that we got to do yeah, that." Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that yeah. Yeah. And the most interesting part, I think, is the change and development of the character. Always, uh, it changes change. through the whole whole yeah, film. The whole of course, it's yeah, always yeah. about that. You know, it's tricky. It's it's a funny thing. Like, uh, it, it's like uh, 
change could be something that we say is is I, I like to look at characters as potential. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. like from the outset, we just have to see that they have some tool that might help them be able to do it. Mm -hmm. But then right now, it's not all together. Mm -hmm. All the pieces are everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so they're this big ball of potential. Yeah. And so suddenly they're kind of on this path to getting to that point where they be, they'll realize that potential. And if we're there for that moment, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's always a beautiful thing. It's when you, in the love story, when the two people meet, they may hate each other initially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from the they, very beginning. They may, they're just like, ugh. But well, the like, potential, when you look Masali. at him, yeah. you look, right, right, but Harry Miss Sally, I was thinking oh, yeah. that. That's really good, yeah. But, but it's, it, that's great love stories. Mm -hmm. Like these people had potential to be together. Yeah. By all means, we'd want to put them together, but they're not meshing. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. uh, and, but then the beauty is like watching that come to fruition. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're working for it and yes. it has value. Yes, develop. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Characters, personalities. 